I'm Cheryl, and today we're going to be replacing the lower broil element in the Maytag range. You may need to replace this broil element if your lower oven is not heating properly when set to broil. This repair should only take about 10 to 15 minutes. For this repair, we're only going to need two tools, a quarter inch nut driver, and a flat head screwdriver. If you don't already have a new broil element, they are available for purchase on our website. Before repairing any appliance, always make sure it is completely disconnected from its power source. We will be working in the back of the range, so once you have access to that, we are looking to remove the lower back panel. Uh, we'll start by removing the trim in between the top back panel and the lower one. We have quarter inch nuts, so take your quarter inch nut driver to remove these. Careful of the sharp edges. And then we can remove the remaining bolts around the bottom and edges. Now we can remove the back panel. Just tip it back and lift it up. You may have to wiggle it loose a little bit, but then set it to the side. The lower broil element terminals are right here with the purple wires. You can disconnect the wires to those. If they're on there kind of tight, you can use a flathead screwdriver to help pry those off. Like so, we'll start by opening up the bottom door. And for safety reasons, I would, just, I would suggest taking the door off. Um, so in order to do that, we're gonna flip back these metal tabs on the hinges. And once those are flipped back, we can close the door till we feel the resistance. And we'll have to take a good grip on the door and pull straight up and out. You may need to get a grip on the oven as well. One. And once both hinges have released, you can pull it out and set it to the side. Slide out the oven racks to get it out of the way. Next, we'll need to remove the mounting screws on the broil element. So we'll take our quarter inch nut driver to remove those. Now we can pull the lower broil element out and it's ready to replace. Now we can place our new lower broil element. Go ahead and insert those terminals into the back. And we'll mount the screws. And now we can reconnect our wiring to the new broil element. And now we can replace the back panel. And start by lining up the bottom section and Lining up those holes. Make sure not to pinch any wires. Line up the top holes. And then finally replace the trim. That wasn't too hard, right? Here's a quick recap. All of our OEM parts and tools are available for purchase on our website. Check them out and let us know what you think on these social media sites.